Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Mm -hmm. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. May the Lord have a, have a blessing to the hearers and the believers and the truth of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
thou still my strength and shield.
to St. Francis Missionary Baptist Church. Like I said on last Sunday, the best is yet to come. Amen. Because Brother Brown is saying, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> a lot of times he's saying, listen, he don't say something that was important. Now listen to him now. Now he, he, he said, listen, listen, listen again. He picked to say something that's important. I'll be listening to you, Brother Brown. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be getting all the little sermon that I can get. Because that's going to meet Jesus. <laughs> and it's about in the time getting up on him. Thank y'all. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, church. Good morning. It's a blessing to be back in the house for one yes. more time yes. on this beautiful yes. last Sunday in yes. January. Yes. We're just so grateful to be here. Our announcements for today are very few. Uh, one is just a, um, 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 anyway, we have been repeating it. But it's from the Southeast District of Butler in Crenshaw County. It's 138 Mac Lane in Green, Alabama. Moderator, Rochelle McMillan. To all pastors and churches, the officers of the Southeast District of Butler in Crenshaw County, pray that all has been saved during the time since we last met. We will hold our winter board meeting on Saturday, February 26th. That's Saturday, February 26th at 10 a.m. here at St. Francis Missionary Baptist Church. All presidents, please plan to make your reports and pre present your program for the upcoming year. We're asking each church for a donation of $100 to be used toward the scholarship fund so that we will be able to issue scholarships to those that meet the requirements. Please plan to attend or send a representative Yours in Christ, Reverend Rochelle McMillan, moderator. We ask that you continue to pray for all the sick and the shedding in. For our sick and shedding in, we have Sister Mary Ann, who's 102 years old, Brother Terry Savage, Brother Freeman Bailey, Brother Johnny Jackson, Sister Joyce Williams, Sister Alma Crittenden, Sister Sadie Lindsay, Brother Antonio Benton, Sister Mary Pfeiffer, Sister Mary Sanford, Sister Wanda Benton, Brother Clinton Briggs, Brother Jesse Buskey, Brother Alex Barkley, Sister Anna Mae Green, Brother Lambert Bennett Jr. Let's continue to pray for all the bereaved families everywhere. Pray for the Purdue family and for the Bennett family. Amen. Uh, we lost a, a, one of the, the warriors of this community, Amen. Sister Rena Van Bennett. So let's yeah. pray for that family that God will comfort them in their time of bereavement. Of our birthdays on February the second, we have Brother Jack Davion Jackson. Mm -hmm. February the third, Deacon Lester Jackson. February the seventh, Sister Emma Jackson. February the seventeenth, Deacon Johnny Hamilton. And February twenty seventh, wow. Sister Quintilla Johnson. Uh, let's remember for our Wednesday night and discipleship training here at the church at six p.m. Let's continue to um, to come. Um, those are all my announcements. Just a little something to leave you with. Always pray to have eyes that see the best in everyone, a heart that always forgives, a mind that stays clear, and a soul that never loses faith. Amen. Amen.
sister, uh, sister church. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this week, mm -hmm. we want to do that. And um, so let's be prayerful for the Bennett family. Also, let's continue to pray for Lamont Jr., who is still ill. Let mm -hmm. us pray for the little family, um, the family of Anna Lewis Little. Let us pray for the family of Katie Smith, uh, who's being funeralized uh, in New York on Wednesday. That's my neighbor's uh, niece, Sister Evangelist Green, that lives next door, two down, two doors down from me, and they funeralized her niece. So let us pray for all the bereavement mm -hmm. families everywhere, those we know and those we may not know. Mm -hmm. And also pray for the <laughs> Robinson family, uh, Pastor Leanna Robinson lost his sister on yesterday, Sister mm -hmm. Esther Robinson. Mm -hmm. So let us play, pray for the Robinson family mm -hmm. as well. And um, I don't know if anybody being ill at this time that's in the hospital or anything, but anyway, we just want to continue to pray for all our sick and children. Do anybody else have anybody that they want to mention today? Funeral arrangements have not been made for Sister Rena Vanis yet, but we here in the community, and I'm sure we will hear what time the funeral will be and where. It's going to be Saturday at Lomax, so they haven't set a time yet. Okay, it'll be at Lomax, but not a time in the city. Okay. So we want to keep that in mind. And uh, so let's be prayerful. Let us do what we can for each other, and let us keep moving forward. Amen. 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 See now, if you're part of the service, where you can just come and just do and bless God with what He's already blessed with. Amen. Amen. It's time to bring in His tithes and His offerings. Amen. 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 You are now in the hands of the deacon. church family. What a blessing it is to be in the house of God just one more time. And we thank God for the opportunity that one has already mentioned that the Lord did not have to do it, but because of who he is, he allowed us to be in the number just one more time. I want to echo to this church. Thank God for you and what you've done uh, with those uh, settings of bereavement uh, for the ones uh, in Georgia who were uh, real close friends and family members. We want to thank God for classmates. And so we want to thank God for Amen. what this church family did to uh, remember their legacy. And so again, we uh, would like to say thank you so much uh, on the behalf of the McCoy family, the Neely family, and the Page family. And also, uh, I found out the other day that we had another person who was uh, very dear to me who uh, passed away also. We want to thank God for that family. So we will continue to keep um, those families lifted up. But not only those families uh, from Georgia, the Augusta, Georgia area, the Reds, the Thompson area, and the McDuffie area, the Warrington also, uh, but also these beloved families here locally. Amen. So these beloved families, we want to always remember and always, always be praying for those settings uh, of bereavement and those ones who are continuing to grieve uh, through 
rejoicing and be glad in it. We did not have to do it because of who we did. Yeah. Do not look at the numbers. Do not look at the numbers. Amen. As a matter of fact, if you have a mirror, look at the mirror and say, thank you, Lord. Amen. In the house of God. Yes. One more time. Listen again, and thank you so much for what you do. It's just good to be in your presence. Amen. Lord, she's so lovely. Thank God for her and her spirit. And we want to continue to, uh, to bring everybody who is willing to be a part of of this worship experience, but my good friend and good dynamic pastor and preacher would come to render this effort of prayer for us this morning, continue to pray for him, and continue to pray for uh, me <coughs> and Mr. Brown as we continue to labor Amen. in this effort of, of the preaching setting and the worship setting and the teaching setting and all the five functions of the church. God for these great elders here who are leading these efforts. Amen. Who are leading these efforts. Amen. It takes a whole church. Amen. To be able to demonstrate the five functions of the church. Amen. 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 It is altar call time. It is altar call time. It's that time where you can just look to the hills in which comes your help. Sometimes you just might want to just say, Lord, I need you. For one thing or another. You ought to ask him, say, Lord, like what you did for Daniel, for what you did for the Hebrew boy. Lord, for what you did for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Lord, you stood right there by them. So now, Lord, we need you to stand by us. Lord, you said your word that when we're weak, but thou art strong. Just clear your minds. Forget about yesterday. All the things of the past. Hold your head up this morning, y'all. And look to the hills. For which come all, all our help. It's worshiping time. It's worshiping time. Good night, but joy is coming in the morning. 
every dog that a sick father, let them know that you got no medicine in the hill of your garment than they have in all the drugstores uh, in the world. Father, we come this morning to lift you up, uh, to glorify you, to magnify your Father. The world is talking about COVID, but we are talking about the God that sits high and looks low, uh, the one that has all power uh, in his hand, the one that is able to make a way out of no way. We come to tell this world about the God that just keep on uh, uh, keeping us and uh, the fountain of wonder that is born from a mighty uh, a long way. Uh, we come to praise you, Father, for your many, many wonderful works. Father, we come to praise you for what you've already done for us. And Father, we know uh, that you didn't bring us uh, this far to leave us. And Father, we know that you still God and your God all by yourself. And Father, we come this morning to stand in the gap for all of those warriors that are out there on that battlefield. Father God, we're praying this morning for our pastor this morning. Father God, we pray right now that you are able to heal and sustain him. Father God, let him know that no matter what it looks like or what it feels like, let him know that everything is going to be all right. Father God, we're before the camp to give you the praise. Father, we're praying right now that you would just put your love and protection around his wife. Father God, keep on keeping her that she might be that bold soldier out here on this battlefield. Father, and for all of those that are out there and is connected, Father, to you, to our pastor, for those, Father, we pray that you would just simply give us the overflow. And Father, for all of those churches that are open up in your name, and Father, for all of those that have stepped out and, and, and Father, and fought through the cold, said no matter what, Father God, they came out to hear what thus says the Lord. And Father, we be more than can forgive you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. And now, to the hymn of preparation. Prepare your hearts and minds to receive a word from all high. And now, after the hymn of preparation, the next force we will hear will be our very own Pastor Brown. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen.
burn forever. Mm -hmm. Thou said the Lord, curse be the man that trusts uh, in man and make flesh his arms and whom heart departeth from the Lord. For he shall be like the heathen in the desert and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit a parched place and in the wilderness and in the salt land and not inherit it. Inhabit it. Uh, but verse 7, blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord whose hope uh, is in the Lord. And for he shall be like a tree planted by the waters and they shall spread and our root for the river shall not see when the heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green and shall not be kelter in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. And the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? And verse 10, I, the Lord, searched the heart. I try the means even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. God's work of God's holy and righteous people. And focusing on this very profound text and scripture setting in Jeremiah, but focusing on verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Who mm -hmm. hope the Lord is. And just for a few moments in this uh, setting this morning, I want to talk about um, the setting of unshakable, unmovable, and unbound. Unshakable, unmovable, and unbound. As the Lord has allowed us to live in another day, and in particularly this first month of this new year, it has indeed been for the masses who are gathered here this morning without many of his challenges. Mm -hmm. Challenges such as the loss of loved ones and families and hurt and mm -hmm. even some efforts of pain in our lives and in the lives of those who are beloved to us. Many of you, my beloved church family, can testify this morning if you were afforded the opportunity to do so. I believe would echo to the masses here this morning. I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights, but when I think things over, I will not complain, and because of the state of things in my life, the state of things in my life, but most importantly, the one who is in my life. I'm going to trust God anyhow yes. until I die. Can I get my witness? Amen. Yes. yes, my beloved brothers and sisters, I'm going to remain unshakable and unmovable, but always abounding in the very presence of the Lord. Can I get one with you? Amen. In essence, saints, I'm going to SP, SP, trust God, SP, spiritual principle, spiritual principle. I'm going to trust God anyhow. I'm going to trust God on this journey. Can I get one with you? Yes. Yes, I'm going to remain unshakable, uh, unmovable, unbound, and no matter what comes my way, can I get away? Amen. But in these settings of scripture,
scripture and the biblical principles this morning. As I attempt to communicate this sermon effort in a simplistic manner so that we can comprehend what are the spiritual principles that are riddled throughout its content so that we can apply, watch this, watch this, listen, listen, so that we can apply these settings in our everyday life with the Lord. Can I get yes. Amen. So we can, we can be able to pull out these spiritual truths that are, that are riddled through this biblical text and be able to grab those efforts and apply them in our everyday life with the Lord. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness on this day? On this beautiful Sunday morning, two kinds of people are contrasted here. The wicked and the righteous. The wicked precipitately are the wicked precipitately yeah, Russia. I mean, Judah. <laughs> Trust gods, the little gods, and their military alliances instead of trusting the God of the Most High. And thus are bearing uh, unfruitfulness. But the righteous place uh, their confidence in God so that they can flourish like the, the tree, Sister Jackson, planted by the wall. But watch this, in times of trouble, in times of trouble, the wicked are already doomed or impoverished or imploding. <laughs> They're already have made up their mind. They already messed up. They already done gave up because they don't have their trust and their hope in God. Your military might won't save you now. No. Yeah. So they are spiritually weak, my beloved brothers and sisters. They are spiritually weak. So they have no strength. Now, this is key. Listen, listen. They have no spiritual, they have no strength to cling on. All right. All right. All right. They have nothing to fall back on deep that has the substance, that has the essence of some power that can bring on protection, power, and some renewing of your mind. They can rely on that, on that artillery gun, mm -hmm. on that weapon to shoot down range to kill. It won't do nothing. You sit there all day long to turn rusty a thousand years if it ain't if it has not been used. Right. Somebody right. got to pick it up to use it. But it won't do nothing unless they are involved with it. And that's what we're getting away from. We need to trust in a God that is out of our self. When you can't see him, but you feel him every day. You can feel him all around. And the evidence of him being in our lives and being around us is written in the Holy Scriptures. It takes faith in a modern day church. In a modern day church, it takes faith to be able to worship. To be able to give a God a praise that you don't see. Yeah. Amen. All right. Amen. I had a man tell me one time, everybody know I'm a chaplain. He told me I won't give nobody no praise if I can't see him or touch him. Oh. This is the world we live in. Yeah. We walk by faith right. and not by right. I'll leave on in the right place. And that will make God so magnificent. Because can you imagine living in a world that they couldn't touch him? Let me put my Jesus over him. Let me put him over there. That's what you need to be because you're a conservative. No, he ain't. He's a liberal. I got to put him over him. The wickedness of mankind will put him where they want to put 
will. That's why you gotta walk by faith and not by sight. You got to come and study and read his word. You got to know without a doubt that one day soon, it may be in the morning time, it may be in the midnight hour, but one day soon, the same manner that he cracked the sky, he's going to come back. And so check this out. When your day come, when your day come, watch this. I'm going to take us somewhere because we all going to see this day. When our day of transitioning comes in. When they roll you down, matter of fact, you'll be already gone by the time they roll you down the house. It'll just be somebody here you know, hollering and crying and, and praying, singing a song and praying something, shouting and giving God the praise for your life, but you'll be a big gone. But let me tell you something, you got to be able to have some faith to trust in God that when he says, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. That's right. I saw it. I saw it, Sister Brown. I saw it all oh, when her big mama was laying there in that bed in that hospital. And I said, big mama, what you looking at? And she said, I'm looking at God. And I said, what he look like? And I'm nothing that look like God. So the only thing that she can say, he look like God. And he was right behind me. And I could feel the presence of God right in there. And I counted all joy just to be in his presence. With her doing her time. Yeah. Her time was coming, B. Mm -hmm. And that's why he said, You never leave, no matter how, no matter what things happen in our life. I truly believe, even, even that terrible accident on 65, I know God will right there with them children. Yeah. I bet he put a shield protection just took them off, gone to glory. Don't worry about the violence of the accident. God will be with us, even in the end. To be with us. Amen. And so, in this setting, we need some strength in our lives. And Judah, they didn't have the strength to have. You got everybody got to have a backup plan. I got a backup plan. So again, when my number is called. If you ain't got your ticket, you won't see me. But if you got your ticket, I'll see you in there. And so, but the righteousness of people, they have, or we have, an abundance strength. Not only for, and this is the good part. Watch this, watch this. I've been talking about this. Watch this, how this come together. We have an abundance of spiritual strength mm -hmm. in our lives to draw. But not only for our own need, mm -hmm. but even for others. Mm -hmm. Because we can only keep what we have by giving it away. Oh, and so God gives us some spiritual strength. Are you satisfied with being, and I know this ain't nobody in him, being unfruitful? Or do you like a well-watered tree? <laughs> Have the strength of times of crisis, <laughs> and even you have a little bit to give away. Share with one another. Watch this. Watch this, this yeah. movie. Yes. Uh, we should be fruitful mm -hmm. so that we can mm -hmm. comfort, encourage, and inspire those who have lost their way mm -hmm. to put their faith and trust and hope in the Lord so that they can gain some spiritual maturity. Mm -hmm. And in turn, as they gain spiritual maturity, they are able to give away what God has given to them. Amen. Amen. That's why we can always should be aspiring to and share our experiences mm -hmm. and our strengths and our hopes of how 
the Lord changed our life. Amen. But what a tremendous benefit are discovered for the one that trusts the Lord with all thy heart lean not upon their own understanding. Trusting in the Lord is simply what's the Believing what God has said. It is having faith in the incarnation word of God and trusting all that the Lord has revealed to us again in his written word. That is why it is vital to our spiritual growth to become part of the efforts of study, mm -hmm. to continue to learn new spiritual truths, right. but also mm -hmm. to reinforce ones that we have already encountered, yes, sir. that we've already read about, that we've already studied in the settings of biblical teachings according to our Baptist faith group. I said that for a reason. Right. The Baptist That's right. That's right. faith group. There's a lot of ideologies. All right. All right. There's even a lot of ideologies when it comes to Christianity. Mm -hmm. And the Protestant faith is under the echelon of that. The Christian faith and then you have a whole bunch of different people. Mm -hmm. Including Baptists. But that's why I said, according to our Baptist faith said. Mm -hmm. And so, to reinforce the spiritual principles, the man who trusts in the Lord is simply believe in him <laughs> in all things. Mm -hmm. Believing his word, trusting. We are trusting God's promises and not allowing himself as we walk through this journey to be shaken by circumstances or sight or emotions or feelings. Blessed indeed is the man that trusts in the Lord. Favor and fortune can I get a witness? Is the one who's hope whose hope is resting in God. Watch this. The God of our salvation. Yeah, all right. The God of our salvation. Mm -hmm. But as I haste along, Jeremiah reports to us this morning and its majestic tone. These settings of scripture, as he adequately, uh, acutely aware of the sins of Judah and the unfaithfulness of the people of Israel. He knew that man's heart is deceitful above all things. And that fallen man could be swept into deep hopelessness mm -hmm. when faith in the Lord fails or falter. He was surrounded by a nation, mm -hmm. Jeremiah was, mm -hmm. that had fallen to the belief of the abandonment of their belief. Right. <laughs> and it was in his suffering that he sought the Lord for healing and deliverance. At the start of his ministry, Jeremiah had been warned that the people would not listen to his message. Can I get a witness? And the guilt of the nation stands in stark contrast with the innocence of the introvert prophet of God. It was as, as he grieved the unbelief 
or the people and became distressed by the destructive consequences of their sin. Mm -hmm. They were led to uh, ignite his own faith by confessing the truth as he echoes to us again. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is always in the Lord. Trusting the Lord is simply, my beloved, believing that one and the only way God has provided for fallen man to be saved is through the sacrificial death and glorious resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is having faith is unchangeable. The truth that God has opened up for us in the Holy Scriptures and has revealed to us through His only. That's right. Amen. Through His only begotten Son. Mm -hmm. It is also, my beloved, accepting as an unchangeable fact that the life which God has in part of given us and to us through the Lord Jesus Christ will save us from the uttermost depths yeah. of this world. It pleases the very heart of God when his children depend <laughs> on him utterly. Believe in his word and trust in his son for salvation. That's right. But without having faith in who he is and what he has said, it is impossible to please him. Oh, without faith, we are ships in a vast ocean. Without a a sail or a rudder that we toss and here and for in the merciless sea of life. All right. All right. Yeah. For the one who draws near, I need some saints to draw near God, yeah. who draws near to God must believe that he seeks to his very existence yeah. right. because of this God. Who died one Friday. Yes, but before that, there was a God in the garden. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Their existence that we are here right now is because of Jesus. Yes. But he also likes to add as a manuscript and in a setting of trying to be articulate about the efforts mm -hmm. huh. that is God, Jesus Christ, yeah. and his righteousness. All right. All right. Yes, sir. So we, uh, in this modern day church, without faith, we are lost, we are doomed, we are uh, uh, in a world blind mm -hmm. by spiritual act. That's why we need a, a spiritual being in our lives daily. Amen. Amen. Trusting in God. And, but watch this. We not only trust in God, but we also have one of his cousins hope in our lives. Amen. We are trusting and hoping in the Lord is simply believe the reality that he has disclosed to us in his word. It is accepting the fact that God has revealed to us not only uh, in his word, but in his walk as we seek him daily in our lives. Let me let you know something. If you call on the Lord, he will answer. He will if you read him. He will answer. So it reveals itself. It is also trusting all that has been revealed 
in the Holy Spirit. Yeah. About our great God and yeah. Savior, Jesus Christ. It is believing the fact that Christ has gone. As it was echoed to us in Acts. To prepare a place for us and to love us with the everlasting love. As we read this morning in the hymn, Christian Hope. Christian Hope is not a vain, finger crossing fantasy. All right. <laughs> we need it now. Hallelujah. <laughs> and faith in God is not found in some fictional setting. Mm -hmm. But all these efforts of being realistic. Mm -hmm. It is seen with the cloudy eye of faith. All God promises as a certain reality in accepting the actuality of the truth in his holy word. Yes. Uh, trusting in the Lord and hoping in him is being certain of the existence of things that we cannot see with the physical eye. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, with glorious joy is realized by the one that trusts uh, in the Lord and place the eternal hope in him. Blessed is the man who embraced these two gifts of grace which abide forever for faith and hope that unlocks our understanding of the Father's heart and God's pure love for all of his children. Yeah. But as I get ready to close, I thought that I would say just a little bit goodness to the end. <laughs> uh, the acronym for hope, my beloved brothers and sisters, as you go through this thing called life and have trials and tribulations and have a little pain in your life. Hallelujah. Hold on. Will be whoever the world wants them to be. Right. Amen. Will be ever 
If they, if they get something in them, they'll be whoever the world wants them to be. Yes. Substances that alter the mind. Mm -hmm. I know. Substances that alter the mind, I'll be whoever you want me to be. Mm -hmm. I'll be whoever you want me to be. God, I'm changing him. Right. We change, he don't change. No, we need to get closer to him. Amen. And this is for those ones who are listening, listening to our faithful efforts. Mm -hmm. I encourage you to continue to be a part of the faithful effort in, mm -hmm. in this worship experience. Mm -hmm. And we want to encourage you to continue to send messages through that effort. Mm -hmm. We thank God for you. You may not be in here in person, mm -hmm. but you are still with us and we still love you. We, you still are part of the worship set. Thank God for you. Mm -hmm. Continue to be a part of that effort. We are living through some trying times right now. Amen. But for those ones who do feel comfortable, I want to thank God for the ones who are face to face right now. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. But we also want to thank God for the ones who are a part of the worship experience on our Facebook page. We thank God for you. You need us. You call us. Remember, we are a faith family. Amen. Ain't no family over here and one over there. Amen. We are one. We are one. unified in Christ. Amen. Remain, as I encourage you this week, remain unshakable, mm -hmm. unmovable, mm -hmm. and always abound with the Lord. Amen. Always the battle of the Lord. The doors of the church are open. I will trust in the Lord.
serve God, and continue to move forward in the Lord. Amen. If folks are already asking about what we do yeah. and what we're going to do, we don't brag for nothing. We give God the praise. We share our spiritual strengths and hope. Yeah. Who knows? I might even get out there and do something physical. Well, our young people. <laughs> but let me get a little time to get my little get in shape, though, okay? And me and Diggy, me and Diggy Jack over there, we got to get in shape first. Though. <laughs> always, we got a lot of good stuff coming. Mm -hmm. And it's all, watch this, as our brothers. It's all to glorify God. Amen. Amen. And let me say this. I want to thank God for each member. Let me look at you. Each member. You've done great things already. But it yet not appear. You better listen, listen, listen. It yet not appear. Well, yet not appear what great things God is about to do. Yes. His faith family is. Amen. But we got to be committed. Got to be committed, got to be obedient, we got to come to study, we got to come to discipleship, we got to come to, got to, come to Sunday school and other study. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to, I give you a little bit of my red velvet cake when I have some. When you come to these things, you ain't getting that much though. I have my sisters make two cakes, oh, they ain't getting my cake. Oh, I get real some. <laughs> And my and, and Diggin Jackson. Y'all come sit at my table. I love everybody here. I want to thank God for you. But it's something that I'm really fond of. And I can pick it. And, and I thank God for Diggin Jackson. That's my own way. Y'all leave him alone, too. He a little rough under the edge, but that's okay. Some sheep, some, some sheep got a good beard. <laughs> But he's a good man. He's dedicated. That's what I need. I need your dedication Amen. to the Lord. I thank God for him. He know I can pick that up. But let us keep focus on this. The thing. Moving forward in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us treat everybody right until we die. Amen. We always pick up, not put down. Amen. And we help and not hinder. Amen. Amen. And we should have our shirts soon, too. I've talked to Sister Brown about we're going to have our little fancy little shirts. We're going to be looking good. Amen. We're going to be looking good. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff out, outside when we get warm, okay? So all hearts and minds are clear. Again, as we echo, remember this week. Remember this week. No matter what comes in your life, no matter what trial or tribulation, remain hopeful always. Mm -hmm. Be unshakable. Unmovable, but always abounding in the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 If we do that, we'll be fine. Amen. Let us stand. And I ain't sung that song so long, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Boy, I surprised myself. Did I surprise? Oh, have mercy. I love the saying. I always tell people. I was born the same, but I was called to preach. Ain't God good? Yeah. He put it all together to glorify him. Thank you so much. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you again for this setting, uh, worship during this great day that you allowed us to be. We do not take it for granted. We give you praise, the honor, and the glory. We yeah. magnify your holy in your righteous name. Yeah. Bless each one right now. In this setting, face-to-face -face worship, the ones who are also a part of our Facebook team and membership, bless them, keep them. Bless everyone. And Lord, keep them safe. You know what they need. You know what they desire. Lord. Bless them, keep them. And Lord, help us to always remain as we go through some trials and tribulations in our lives, through pain, through hurt, through loss, that we remain unshakable, unmovable, but always abounding in your love. We love you and we adore you. And the one who has all power. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, we echo through these St. Francis Missionary Baptist Church this afternoon. Say amen. 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 Go in peace. Go in peace.